Okay, so this is another different one, obviously. Um, I'm on my phone again. Uh, that's because I'm out for a walk. Now, I went out and did a little bit of an impulse buy. I've had a $200 gift card for Best Buy. That was my Christmas present. And uh, I've had it, obviously, since Christmas. And it's almost Easter now. So, um, <clears throat> I went and bought a capture device to stream uh, video games, uh, PS4 and Switch games. I don't have an Xbox One. Um, so I'm just going to see how that works. Ideally, it will allow me to play audio through my um, my computer speakers, which are a surround sound system. Um, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, it is a bit pricey. It ended up being about $200 with tax. So that's not what I'm doing right now. <laughs> on the way back, uh, the car informed me that it was 45 degrees out, which is pretty cold. But the um, guy walking past probably thinks I'm crazy. Um, but it was sunny, and the car was warm from sitting in the sun for only about 15 minutes. So I rolled down the windows, and I had the windows down the whole way down here, which is a park. It's actually Marymore Park. I'm going to just come out and say it. it's Marymore Park because it's one of my favorite parks in this area. It's the biggest park in the city of Redmond, Washington. And, uh, you know, beautiful spring day. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's very cloudy, except in front of me. It's quite bright. It's quite sunny. So it's nice. And I've got this new hoodie um, that is surprisingly comfortable and nice and warm, but not too warm. Good for a walk, not maybe not for uh, sprinting. But being 250 pounds, 260 pounds, I'm not really a sprinter. So there's that. So, okay, two minutes. I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is obviously going to be uh, five to ten minutes, as most of my vlogs are. Oh, did I announce what day it was? It's, uh, it's uh, March 24th. It turns out the park is having a color festival. I don't know exactly what that means, because right now it seems really gray. There's a lot of uh, trees without <laughs> much vegetation on them, um, so it's... The colors for me today are brown and gray, and the blue hoodie that I'm wearing. But, um, I'm getting close to the area that I sort of wanted to get on film. Um, Marymore Park is a place I've been to a lot in my life. Uh, when I was three years old, my dad moved here to Redmond, and, um, took me down when I was a wee kid to this park for fun on many a weekend. Um, but then we moved to Minnesota when I was three or four and lived there for another decade before we come, came back here. Oh good, this looks promising. Let's see here. Yeah, water on trail. You can't really read that, there we go. <laughs> it's not actually a trail at this point, it's a bridge, but it's not a bridge over water, it's a bridge over marshland, wetland. Um, the park is on the edge of a lake. Um, anyways, I was saying, Dad moved us to Minnesota, then moved us back. And when I came back, I was just on the cusp of being a teenager. I didn't really come down to the park that much. I mean, we would go down every now and again, but... Um, in my middle school years, my dad was more fond of uh, taking us... Ooh, it stinks, it's a peat bog. <laughs> uh, or aromatic. Um, he would take us to parks all over the area, but not Marymore Park as often. And so I sort of just rediscovered this place, like uh, last summer. And it's very pleasant when everything's green. Oh, hi there. More people thinking I'm crazy. Anyway, um... So, wow, it's warmer here. I don't know if that's just the marshland doing its thing, all the decomposing stuff causing an increase in heat, but it's much warmer right here than it was back on the trail. Um, but yeah, I've been coming down here for some walks uh, for about a year now. It's been very nice. It's, it's uh, very nice in the summer, although there's lots of mosquitoes given that it's on a lake. Um, and this whole 
wooded walkway. <laughs> it can be a little bit treacherous. Uh, last time I was here, the water level was so high that it was actually seeping up through the floorboards <laughs> in places, which is why they have that trail warning sign, but it's actually much nicer today. Um, odd given how much rain we had in the last two days, but the water level seems to have gone down slightly. But, uh, okay, here we are. <laughs> Five minutes in, I actually timed this perfectly. All right, I have to be very careful to hold on to the phone here. I don't have any kind of case. Not that any kind of case would save it if I dropped it at this point. You can hear my footsteps have changed. I'm on a metal grate now, because I'm not on a walkway anymore. I'm on a dock. Oh, that is something. That is a heck of a view. I have to say. <laughs> Washington, when it wants to be, is one of the prettiest places in the world. <sighs> Leaves me kind of speechless. Huge billowy clouds, but lots of blue sky and some sun. The whole reason I thought to come down and have this walk today is because while I was driving, I saw a bald eagle, which was obviously hunting for some fish out on the lake here. Benjamin Franklin didn't think much of the bald eagle. He actually thought it was a big, ugly scavenger with a bad temperament and was unsuitable for the symbol of America. But he was shouted down by the rest of Philadelphia and the founding fathers. He wanted the wild turkey. Well, I think he declared the wild turkey should be the national bird of the United States uh, on account of how stupid he thought his cohorts were at that point. Um, and I've seen some photographs of the eagle being uh, less than majestic, let's say that. But in my personal experience, most of the time if I see a bald eagle out in the wild, it is very impressive. And especially on a day like today. It's very easy to feel patriotic. God bless America. And God bless this amazing view. <laughs> uh, well, I think I've gotten my vlogs worth. I definitely feel a lot better than I did last night and the night before, having wrestled with that computer game. Now I'm getting set to stream on my PS4 and my Switch. But uh, this has been Eric Spornitz. <laughs> Let's do one more shot here of this. Hopefully getting less of the uh, sun lens flare in the picture. But anyway, I don't know how it will be, but I'm still pretty sure tomorrow will be better.